Thank you so much, Susan, James Beard Foundation, for everything that the James Beard Foundation does to promote great food in our country. It's an honor to be able to stand here in front of you today. I have so much personal respect for tonight's honorees. I'm thrilled to be part of this exciting new mission for the James Beard Foundation. You heard Dan Barber talking about deliciousness in the opening video. And I think that I speak for almost all of my fellow chefs when I say that delicious, flavorful ingredients are the foundation of our work. Now, one thing that I've learned from local farmers early in my restaurant chef career You'd really have to call me an accidental environmentalist. I've learned practically everything I know about environmentalism from farmers. One thing that I've learned is that great flavors are harvested from healthy soil and water by farmers who depend on our support for their livelihood. A future with delicious food in it requires sustainable farming methods, responsible fishing of our oceans, supporting human scale local agricultural systems and treating our workers and all living things on the farm with great respect. Now, as many of you in the audience already know, these causes are very near and dear to my heart, so I am extremely pleased to present the first award to a real pioneer in the sustainability movement. Fidel Bauchio founded Bon Appetit Management Company in 1987, the same year that we opened Frontera Grill, because where he saw a problem, where many saw a problem, he saw an opportunity. Contract food production for corporations, college cafeterias, and other large-scale food service operations historically favored quantity over quality. And Fidel set out to change all of that. Tackling a really basic idea first, he brought the food being served to that he thought that the food being served should taste good. So he worked with chefs to source local seasonal ingredients that were packed with flavor rather than just looking good on a shelf. He also decided that he should feel good about the food that was being served. So he made sourcing the food responsibly and taking care of the people all along the food system a priority of his company. And today, Bon Appetit serves more than 120 million meals a year, all of them made from scratch. Its Farm to Fork initiative has provided contracts to over a thousand small locally owned and operated farms. Bon Appetit uses only sustainable seafood, poultry raised without antibiotics, natural beef burgers, hormone-free dairy, and cage-free eggs. He has proved that quantity and quality are not mutually exclusive. We will hear much tonight of what it means to be a leader, and the people that we are honoring are clearly visionaries. They get things done. And tonight's leaders are not afraid to challenge the status quo so that a new standard of excellence can take root. I ask you to please join me in congratulating James Beard Foundation Leadership Award winner, Fidel Bauchio. Fidel. told I have two minutes to say something, is that correct? <laughs> um, I'm honored and humbled and thrilled to be here tonight. Thank you so much for this award. This award is not just for me, it's, but it's for all of the wonderful people who helped my dream come true 25 years ago. All of the wonderful people of Bon Appetit, our managers, our chefs, our pot washers, our dishwashers, our servers. It's uh, 25 years this year, just like the James Beard Foundation, that we started the company. And I was concerned about flavor on our plates, and at that time, this contract business did not have chefs. And I wanted to embrace chefs, I wanted to embrace great local food that was authentic and seasonal and, and had great taste. And I knew the only way to do that 
was to tell the chefs to go in the fields and work with farmers. That wasn't easy in the late 80s because farmers didn't trust that I was going to buy everything that they had to grow. Um, as Rick said, we now have over a thousand farms across the country in 37 states that we support. Uh, and through our foundation, we've built hoop houses and greenhouses so that even on the East Coast, we can source the right kind of products. Um, I believe there's a huge issue that we have to face in terms of agriculture and public health. I was not at the conference today, but you probably talked about those issues about safe food. I'm very concerned about the issues of non-therapeutic antibiotics in our protein, and hopefully we can pass a bill and get that done. But I've also learned that you can't legislate change. It has to come from consumers. And the more we tell the story, the more we can share, not that we want to be food police, but the more that we can share what's right and what's wrong to give people the right choices, the healthier we will have in terms of an agricultural model. And my dream is, is that we will not only deal with trying to come up with an ecological model that's environmentally sound and economically feasible and socially just, but that we will also work, one of, the, one of my issues now is to work with migrant farm workers and to deal with the dignity of those people that harvest our food, which we hardly ever talk about. So you will see us creating much more in terms of initiatives to deal with those issues um, in terms of the dignity of those people that harvest our food, which I think is absolutely critical uh, if we're going to have an ecological model in terms of agriculture. So thank you, James Beard Foundation. Um, thank you so much, the people of Bon Appetit and my customers and my clients. And I promise you that we will not stop. We will continue to do good things and hopefully set the right tone as we move forward in the future. Thank you.